There are only a few hundred submarines in use today. It takes a vast sum of money and high-tech work for a country to build a sub. Today, let's take a look at some abandoned submarines and see what happens to them after they retire. But before we do that, let's find out why subs are abandoned in the first place. Firstly, in terms of sheer technology, they may simply become outdated. The tech world is always moving quickly, and so are the mechanics of building vehicles, which means older model subs are discarded over time. There's also the big money question, with a lack of funds being another reason why subs are not maintained. Thirdly, there is of course good old politics with new international laws and policies forcing subs to be decommissioned. Here are subs deserted by navies around the world. The U-352 was a submarine from Germany commissioned in World War II as part of the Type 7 series. In 1942, the sub tried to attack a US Coast Guard cutter, Icarus, off the coast of North Carolina. But the Icarus managed to spot the sub, damaging it with depth charges and forcing it to surface. During the confrontation, the sub sank, becoming the first U-boat to sink on the East Coast during the war. Thankfully, most of the crew survived and were rescued. Eventually, 33 survivors were picked up and taken to South Carolina for questioning in war camps. In 1975, the wreck was found off the coast of North Carolina. Divers often visit the site, making it a popular underwater attraction in the area today. The K-77, which was part of the Juliet class, got a whole new life after its active service in the Russian Navy. When a Finnish businessman bought the decommissioned sub and transformed it into a restaurant in Helsinki. However, the business didn't thrive, forcing him to sell it to a Canadian investor who went bankrupt shortly after. This was followed by an attempt to sell the sub on eBay for $1 million, but found no interested buyers. In 2002, the sub was rented to the producers of the film K-19, The Widowmaker, for a whopping $200,000. Eventually, a buyer emerged in 2002 with the intention of turning the submarine into a museum ship. Things went well until 2007, when the submarine sank after water entered the bow torpedo room. In 2008, US Navy divers managed to bring it to the surface using compressed air, but the high costs of restoration made it impractical, marking the end of the board a remarkable life story. The K-84, part of the Delta class, was once touted as the most powerful nuclear sub in the Soviet Navy. Equipped with 16 ballistic missiles, each carrying four atomic warheads, the sub boasted significant firepower. In December 2011, while the sub was undergoing repairs in a dry dock in Murmansk, a fire erupted. Luckily, prior to the incident, the nuclear weapons had been removed, preventing a potential disaster akin to the Chernobyl nuclear accident. In an effort to control the fire, a decision was made to deliberately sink the submarine into the water. The consequences were substantial. The combined impact of the fire and intentional sinking resulted in damages estimated at around $12 million. This incident highlights the potential risks associated with handling nuclear-powered subs, even during normal repair and maintenance work. The midget submarine Type A, also known as Kohayoteki in Japanese, was a class of Japanese midget submarines used by the Imperial Japanese Navy during World War II. Commissioned in 1943, the sub was designed as a covert attack weapon to be deployed from mother submarines or surface ships. This submarine had a crew of two, measured about 75 feet long, and was armed with two torpedoes. Operating at a depth of around 100 feet, its small size and stealthy nature made it perfect for launching surprise attacks on enemy vessels or coastal targets. One notable operation involving the Type A submarine was the attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941. Five of these submarines popped out of mother submarines to infiltrate the harbor, but the mission was largely unsuccessful. Only one of them managed to inflict minor damage on a US Navy destroyer before sinking. 
Although the Type A subs did not achieve the success initially envisioned, they showcased the Japanese Navy's innovative approach to unconventional warfare during the early years of World War II. The small size and stealth capabilities of these submarines laid the foundation for future developments in naval warfare. The K-159, which was part of Project 627, codenamed Whale or the November class, initially operated in the Soviet before joining the ranks of the Russian Navy. After 26 years of service, the sub was decommissioned without removing the radioactive material on board, including 800 kilograms of nuclear fuel. Despite its poor condition, the K-159 was kept afloat by four large tanks at a marine base. 14 years later, funds were secured for the eco-friendly disposal of the submarine. However, during the towing process, water entered the vessel, causing the sub to sink in 238 meters of water along with a seven-man crew. If you enjoyed this journey into the underwater, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to learn more cool stuff about ships and subs in the future.